Hi, Mr. Horseport. I have a question. What is Kamala Harris doing about Wall Street? We have another economic crisis coming pretty soon. Uh, the housing market is overpriced. Is she doing anything about banking and finance? You know, is she putting any Glass-Steagall legislation? Bernie Sanders was for it, definitely, you know? Uh, even Elizabeth Warren has talked about it. Does she want to put the crooks and fraudsters in jail for crashing our economy? Do you have any platforms about that? I'm concerned that this economy is going to crash and Wall Street bankers are going to get away with crime. Anything about the Federal Reserve? Can you please elaborate about that, please? Is that okay? You know, you need to start representing American citizens. This is the problem, folks. We're sick and tired of you being out of touch with the average person. Start representing Americans first. Shame on you. Shame on you. This is taxation without representation. Hello, everyone. We are here in the North Las Vegas City Hall. Stephen Horsford is having a town hall. First time here. Problem. She's working with Harry Reid. This is not about DACA. This is about votes. We've seen what's happened in the state of California. Look at the data. Look at the information. She works with Harry Reid to pump votes for the Democratic Party. This is not about protecting so-called dreamers. So show us your true colors. Since the mid-1700s, with occasional bouts of xenophobia, of not wanting immigrants, We've been a constant wave of immigration. We've been able to go out and get the best of every single culture in the world. Because for somebody to get up and leave everything they know takes enormous courage. I hope you don't let anybody convince you that this is not in the overwhelming interest of the United States of America. So don't let them break your spirit. Think about what you've done. This idea you're costing us. That cost it. You're making the social security system more secure. You're paying taxes. I know when things have been really bad for me in my life, and things have been rough, whether it's losing kids or whatever it happens to be, and you have people telling you what you aren't. Don't. If making it easy to be an illegal alien isn't enough, how about offering a reward for being an illegal immigrant? No, no sane country would do that, right? Guess again. If you break our laws by entering this country without permission and give birth to a child, we reward that child with U.S. citizenship and guarantee a full access to all public and social services this society provides. And that's a lot of services. Is it any wonder that two-thirds of the babies born at taxpayer expense at country, county-run hospitals in Los Angeles are born to illegal alien mothers. Astrid and 800,000 other young people just like her, who are American and all but paperwork, no longer need to live in fear of deportation. We have a, we have a meltdown. We have a meltdown. Okay, can, can he answer the question? Yes or no? There's a big line. I'm going so why are they having the ability to ask him and I can't do that? Would you like to reach out? I don't know. I, I, will, I will come back to him on the time. It doesn't look pretty, my friend. And that's why. So. so. Can you talk about Wall Street for us? Please do not record.